The Season 5 Reloaded update just got revealed, just break down all the content we're getting, but more specifically the new operators, bundles, free camos, and much more releasing, and some you could get right now. Be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, but first off here, gotta mention this, on Call of Duty's official Twitter or X account, they're giving away a bunch of Black Ops 6 beta codes. I'm gonna be giving away some to you guys as well. If you guys wanna play Black Ops 6 early, stay tuned to my video, subscribe. I'll try to give away as many as possible, but also on Call of Duty's Twitter, keep an eye out. There's different links here to click, and it's gonna be pretty easy to get some. Be Video 6 beta codes that beta is releasing of course in a week and a half from now so hype for that so stay tuned for that i'll be sure to put some links down below other ways to get beta codes we'll talk about that in a couple days here but for the game right now a free glowing camo has been added so we have daily login rewards here which i'm surprised they haven't done more of these here we saw a couple back in i think mw2 right and we haven't seen this in mw3 since like the launch of the game so you get some cosmetics here if you you know log in on seven separate days okay double xp double up in xp but the final reward on day seven is a pretty interesting camp for the audio was probably on there but a pretty interesting camo kind of glowing kind of not really animated but it does glow it's cool it honestly as a free reward just by logging in you don't even have to play the game i'll take it man so i wish we got more of this throughout the year for black ops 6 they're probably gonna have a similar you know challenge event schedule where it's a weekly bi-weekly basis but having some you know, daily login events mixed in as well a bit more than what we saw this year would be a w and also again just give us that soap the hawk operator skin as a daily login reward it was a skin we were supposed to get in mw2 last year if that side of the faction event won it didn't win they tease it in all the trailers just give it to us as a daily login reward, as a mastery reward on day seven. I feel like that'd be so easy. Will they do that? I'm not so sure, but we'll see very soon. And also a quick update here on CDL talk. I mean, Insight being a free agent of the Toronto Ultra is such crazy news. Insight has been on this team since I think around 2020, right? Uh, the MW19 season or maybe the beginning of Cold War. So sad to see. I wish Toronto got one big champs win. Uh, Insight got second at champs in Cold War, and then of course in MW2 last year. Sucks that the Insight Kleenex duo might not be a thing anymore unless Kleenex leaves that team and goes with Insight to another team, but this is just crazy news here. The top four teams are getting a shakeup at least, uh, you know, Toronto and New York potentially. I think Optic and FaZe are locked for next year with their rosters. They won champs, of course, Optic and FaZe just won EWC, so crazy stuff here, man. If you guys are fans of CDL, this is definitely some big news here, but moving forward here, of course, before I break down some more stuff, quick shot to my partner, Apex Gaming PC. I have customizable PCs here, Lieutenant, Warlord, and Commander, all cheaper prices now. Be sure to check it out, guys. Links are down below. Season 5 Reloaded here, though. One of the final updates, of course, we do have a Season 6 for this game, but, you know, we're going to be focused on Black Ops 6, honestly. So, to me, this is like the final update before we actually start playing Black Ops 6, which is just crazy to see here. So... For multiplayer, of course, and we'll talk about the operators later on in the video. Uh, you know, I'll put some timestamps down below if you want to skip just to that. But I want to run through this very quickly here. In chaos, a reskin. Okay, um, you know, nothing too crazy there. It is a cool concept, I guess. Cyber attack, returning. Um, fish faction. So just a play on infection, right? Paintball mode. That's kind of cool, actually. Diffuse or destroy. So a little bit of a different search and destroy mode. So the bomb's already planted. Okay, interesting. Zombies, of course, the final, absolute final zombies update. Pretty unfortunate, but still it should be cool to see what that's all about. Final story mission. Cinematic conclusion. Okay, new Dark Ether Rift. Three new schematics. Disciple bottle. Friendly Disciple spawns in. All right. Grenade. Okay, replenishes it over time. Stash increase as well. Wait, so that's a schematic? Wait, what? That's interesting that that's a schematic. Okay, interesting stuff. Warzone here, let's see. Supreme Resurgence. Interesting stuff. Ground loot, okay. So just better ground loot there. I'll also win your first match and get a Spilled Beans weapon camo. A lot of, you know, free weapon camos here in Warzone nowadays, which is cool to see. Of course, new Champions Quest. Oh, well, actually, no. No new Champions Quest because Season 5 has already been out. But Season 6 will have our final Champions Quest uh, rewards for, of course, you know, Resurgence and Urzikstam. Other new modes there, of course. Elite Contracts, all modes. Public Event, Recon Flyover, Advanced UAVs. Okay, Warzone Mobile. We're going to skip through that. Uh, okay. Very small update, honestly. Weapons, of course, the spear. 
DLC weapon available. That's pretty cool. Torque 35 launcher. More like a crossbow, obviously, but the, you know, they're calling it like a launcher pretty much. Now for the store offerings. The Crow finally being added. Ghost Punk Pro Playmaker. Interesting stuff, man. Okay, so first one, of course, the Crow Operator Bone. This got leaked out a while ago, but finally is releasing for Season 5. Reloaded. Come down here and see. The Crow Operator Skin. Signature Trench Coat. Inky Face Markings. Mono Chromatic Operator Skin. Wrong made a right finishing move. Two weapon blueprints. Cast off and the lock with shotgun. Call on card. Loading screen. Decal. Emblem. Weapon charm. Standard stuff there. Ghost Punk Pro. Pro pack. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ghost Punk Operator Skin. We have uh, blueprints for the bow and the M4. Pretty standard. Animated call on card. Animated emblem. Another emblem. Weapon charm. Loading screen. Okay, so I don't mind the, you know, different variations of the task force operators, as I've said in the past. This one got leaked out. We thought this was going to be a free reward for uh, CDL champs, but I guess not. It's a bundle. Playmaker pack, which is so interesting. Uh, just a pure golden operator skin. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bruin blueprint, Striker 9, and MTZ blueprint. Okay, uh, two animated calling cards, Gulag Pro Sticker, another emblem, double XP. Also, some more coming out soon, which I'll cover in future videos. Beast Battalion, Net Devil, the Eyes Up Tracer Pack, Echo Endo Firefly Tracer Pack, and more. Paintball Battle with a Splatter Tactics Bundle. Okay, Why, an of course, another Wide Life Wanted Swan Song Tracer Pack, so a Swan operator skin I, again i kind of like the wildlife wanted skins they're kind of funny there but let's get a little preview and you can see also previews of some of the new operator skins in the images as well you guys have probably already been seeing anytime call of duty releases a new blog post for a new season and all the images for multiplayer warzone or even zombies you do get some looks at um you know the new operator skins and bundle skins especially if throughout the season so that's still pretty cool to see here so we got some previews of that new weekly challenge camo that looks pretty cool. Other events here, of course, some of the new skin. Well, actually, the fish skin, that's just for the mode there, but so these are probably new as well. That one looks new. Wilds Left Wanted uh, uh, XP progression. Okay, so nothing too crazy there. Is that really it? Oh, not many events here. I guess, again, it's going to be and then emotional overdrive, but they know that we're going to be focused on Black Ops 6. At least I'm going to be focused on BO6. Beginning of September, it's going to be all BO6, man. Condemnit Bowl. After the COD next event, that's pretty cool. Of course, the beta, August 30th until September 9th. So hyped for that, man. So incredibly hyped. Uh, upgrade jumps to three, and that's it for now. So good look there at Season 5 Reload. Really okay, not, not a big update, man. But to be fair, I wasn't expecting a big update by any means. It's the end of the game's life cycle. It is what it is. I think overall, MW3, I don't know. A lot of you guys seem to maybe disagree. I think it was a W. I think MP was pretty fun. Zombies, of course, a bit lackluster, but still fun for what it was. I'm I'm enjoying this game much more than I did last year with MW2, honestly. So again, feel free to leave your opinions down below on this update. Not the biggest update. Not too surprising though. Honestly, such hammers probably already working on their next game. Hopefully it's AW2, man. If they're working on AW2, holy, that'd be so fire. Um, but for now, that's it for this video. Subscribe for more COD update videos like this, and especially BO6 update videos. Can't wait for that. Shout out to view channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.